Hello. My name's Lance. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How do you How say your you? name? My name is Sheikh Shahabuddin. Sheikh? Did I say that yeah. right? Yes, Sheikh. Shahabuddin. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Where are you calling from, Sheikh? I'm calling from India. Oh, India. What part of India do you live in? Uh, it is the southern part. Southern part. Wow. I don't talk to many Indian students on Cambly, so you're one of my first. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Very good. What time is it in India right now? Right now it is 2. 2 a.m. 2. Oh, wow. <laughs> and what time is there? I live in Florida in the United States. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I just had some lunch. Okay. Nice. Sure. Very good. Are you are you usually awake at this time? No, no. Just because uh, there is a time difference, that's why I'm awake. Okay, awake. very good. Very good. I was going to say at 2 a.m., I'm usually asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, tell me, Shake, are you going to school or are you working? Yeah, I am working. I'm ah. uh, basically a math teacher. Oh, you're a math teacher. Very cool. I, I could have used your help when I was younger. I was not very good at math. Yeah. It is very fun. Cool. Yeah. What uh, what age group do you teach? Uh, up to 15. Uh, okay, up to 15 years old. Wow. Well, from what, uh, what... 11, 11 to 15. Wow. What uh, what math subjects do you teach? Math means uh, here in India, it is uh, combined, like uh, the all algebra, uh, factorization, uh, numbers, number system, like that. It will be including all geometry. Wow. Yeah, I remember geometry, algebra one, algebra two, um, trigonometry. Do you teach that one? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. I, I really could have used your help. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would have helped you. Yeah, that was a subject I was not very good at. And to be honest, it's something I still kind of struggle with in my adult life. But I remember uh, I had one math teacher who gave me a very important lesson. The calculator is only as smart as the person using it. <laughs> nice. Huh? Yeah, so you can share that one with your students. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. I'm I'm curious. Have Have you learned a lot of English uh, prior to Cambly? No, actually, I was uh, having some some sort of experience, and uh, I used English while I'm in a class, but uh, not perfectly. I I want uh, like I'm inspired by some other students, my colleagues. They uh, they talk very well in English in American accent, so I uh -huh. want to. I want to like uh, if I want to speak, uh, so there should be uh, the accent should be like the American. Okay, so very good. I want to develop that accent. Yes, and I know that in uh, India you kind of learn more British English, so there are a, yeah, a few yeah. differences in uh, the British accent, my accent. So we'll go over a few words that are a little different. So let's say this number together: twenty. Twenty. Yeah, so when we spell it, it's spelled like this, but an American would say it like this. There's no T at the end, 20. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, so we'll say it like the uh, second one, 20. Twenty. Yeah, 20. very good. Very good. So we have what's called the, uh, the flap T, so it sounds almost more like a D instead of two Ts. So, for example, this oh. word butter... Butter. Yeah, so butter. instead of a hard T sound, butter, we're going to make it sound like a D, like this. Butter. 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 Yeah, this will uh, take a little uh, getting used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm working on, on that. Like, uh, we here we say feb February. But uh, when I learned American accent, so they, they said that February. February. That, that's right. For us, the R is silent. February. Yeah. Yeah. And um, today I learned uh, another word like environment, environment. So 
so i am uh, practicing it uh, yeah, before it... i used to say environment like yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly uh some other words we say a little bit differently in american english so uh vitamins yeah vitamins yeah because i know in british english they would say vitamins yeah another one that we say differently is aluminum instead of aluminium aluminium yeah so here i'll i'll type some of this phonetically for you uh February, uh, February for that month. Yeah, February. Lu yeah. Uh, Lou and um. Uh, lu aluminum. Aluminum. Yes, yes, very good, Shake. That's exactly how that's supposed to sound. So we'll do this one as well. Vitamins. Vitamins. That's right, vitamins. Vitamins. Very good. The other one we say is minerals, not minerals, minerals. It's kind of an minerals. Minerals. Yeah. Minerals. Very good. Minerals. Good. So another uh, word where we kind of say the T kind of like a D. Using that flap T, we would say instead of city, we would say city. City. Yeah, very good. I'll, I'll uh, type that one as well. City. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so whereas in British English, you're going to say every single uh, uh, syllable. Americans are lazy. We like to shorten things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some contractions I, will be there, like like uh, let me will be let me. Exactly. Give me, exactly. give me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Going, gonna, I'm gonna go there. <laughs> yeah. One to one. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. I want to ask you about like uh, recycling. What do uh, means uh, in American? Uh, uh, I think that I have uh, searched on internet. Like nine percent of the material will be recycled, and the remaining will be means it will be sent to some different countries that are underdeveloped. So they are means the underdeveloping countries they send this waste material like plastic. I'm sorry. Uh, say again. So we with recycling, a lot of things are reused in the United States, and then we send a lot of things somewhere else. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably very very true. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the United States creates a lot of pollution. We create a lot of trash. Yeah, yeah. And so, the uh, United States it, uh, is a developed country, but uh, like in terms of uh, uh, means recycling, it is uh, very uh, far ahead to achieve that goal. Like uh, one by fourth of the United States uh, population, they are willing to recycle that uh, whatever they are producing the waste, like uh, whether it is a degradable or non-degradable. Like non-degradable is the plastic, and the uh, biodegradable, degradable like it is the food waste. Yes, yes, that's very true. Um... It's kind of weird because I, I know India is also a big country and you have a lot more people than the United yeah, States yeah. does. The United States is also very big and has a lot of people and each one of our states kind of works a little bit differently. So if you go to California, uh, yes, they are very much into recycling. If you yeah, go to yeah. Texas, that's kind of on the opposite end of the political spectrum. So I don't think Texas would recycle as much. They would be more willing to just throw things in the trash. Uh, uh, I like that uh, European countries they are doing means uh, they are uh, very much ahead in doing this recycling work. I mean, they are having five different kinds of uh, bins for the recycling, like the uh, uh, degradable and uh, the glass material and uh, like uh, the dam damage electronic parts. Uh, so yeah. they, they are having different kinds of uh, bins to collect that uh, and reuse it, re recycle it. That's right. That's right. So when I was growing up, I'm, I'm kind of old. I grew up in the 90s. So three words I always heard growing up were reduce, 
reuse, recycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are yeah. having four R's, like uh, reduce, uh, reuse, recycle, and recover. Uh, what was the last one? Recover. Recover. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, I noticed in uh, uh, in Indian English, I noticed you're kind of rolling your R, like recycle. Yeah. That happens when you kind of bounce your tongue off of the roof of your mouth. Yeah. In an American accent, uh, we don't bounce our tongue off of the roof of our mouth. So when we say R, we say uh, re, recycle. Re uh huh. Recycle. Yeah, reuse. Re, re. re very good. I know. I know. In your languages, I imagine you speak many languages. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's amazing. Whenever I yeah. whenever I meet an Indian person, they always speak at least like four languages. Yeah, I know Hindi, Urdu, Telugu, wow. uh, and English. Wow. I'm okay at English. I know some Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I know a little bit of Vietnamese, but. Uh, I learned French when I was in high school. I don't remember any of it, unfortunately. Yeah. I could but probably the toughest, ask. <laughs> the toughest language will be Chinese, I think. That was a very difficult one. Yeah. But I, I uh, have taught many uh, Chinese children as an English teacher. So Ooh. I could I could remember when the child would like speak to his or her parents. I could kind of remember what they were saying. So they usually said that I had a big nose. <laughs> Very good, very good. Yeah, so in uh, American English, we uh, we don't bounce the tongue off of the roof of our mouth. Mm. So, so uh, other words we would say are like relax, rest and relax, R and R. Let's say that together. Relax, 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 rest. Very good, very good. Now let's say those two letters, R and R. Oh. R and R. Yes, good job, Shake. Very good job. I know your first thought is to kind of move your tongue up to you, the roof of your mouth, but it'll yeah, take yeah. some practice. Very good. Yeah, I know that. Means yeah. I have seen uh, in some app uh, they are having 15 different sounds uh, uh, produced for vowels. So I need to practice that for yes. application. Yeah, so in uh, American accent, we have what I call short and then long vowels. So, we, like, we have a short A and a long A. So, for example, long A would be the word grade. Like, you grade your student's homework. Great. Very good. And that's another one where we, we're going to use that uh, American R, like, R, grade. Grade. Great. Very good. Very good. And then a short A would be like apple. Apple. Yeah, very good. Apple. Very good. Apple. Very good. So our vowels are uh, A, E, I, O, and U. Sometimes yeah. you'll hear the letter Y as a vowel as well. It kind of depends on the word. Mm. So we'll have like a long U and a short U. Mm. So a short U would be like the word umbrella. Yeah, umbrella. Yeah, underneath. Underneath. Very good. We also have a short and a long E. For e. example, in the word tree, that's a long E. Tree. Very good. Another another word with that R. <laughs> and we also have short E, like Evan, which is one of my friend's names. Evan. Even or Evan? Evan. Evan. Spelling? Yeah. What is the spelling? Okay, Evan. Yeah. yeah, and then the long E would be even. So very good. Even. Very, very good. We have about 15 seconds left, Shake. I really enjoyed this. This was fun. Yeah, yeah. I need, uh, means uh, I got some, uh, like, the sounds. Too yeah, very, very good. Enjoy the uh, rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Okay, thank you.